Ah, welcome. I'm a retired radiographer. I spent 40 years working in 40 different hospitals and practices across the countryside. I specialized in general radiography because that was the fun part of the job because I got an enormous amount of job satisfaction out of being able to be the best, to be able to limit the radiation dose by accurate collimation by gradually improving my techniques so that with these lumbar spines, I could get perfection nine out of 10 times. Now, when I wasn't perfect, it meant I might have been a bit off with my judgment, but most likely it was going to be to do with the patient. I had, I had not posturally positioned them correctly or they had some kind of weird twist in their spine. So, <clears throat> to do my system of radiography requires no centering points at all. You collimate accurately. So the top and the bottom of the, of the cassette, the receptor is collimated, and then you can approximate how wide the collimation will be side to side by just looking at the shape of the light. You can use the anatomical landmarks to work out where the, the body parts are going to be in relation to this. And so... What happens is you get better and better at doing the job. Now, that doesn't happen with centering point radiography. Centering point radiography means you just keep on churning out the same low quality product. You don't get that feedback on how you can improve. Now, you can tell on these images that I've removed all of the digital masking. So you can see exactly where the x-rays go. And that's one of the problems today is that bad radiographers are able to pretend that they are good radiographers. And if you want, it, if you want bad radiography, I, I recommend you go to um, India. Have a look at what is done in, in India. Absolutely astonishing because they don't use collimation at all <laughs> on whatever they do. <laughs> so radiography has a long way to go. I was unable to publish any papers because the profession doesn't want to know how badly it's doing. But my papers were very well received, but I just couldn't get that kind of publicity. So look up my videos on perfecting the way you do cervical spine radiography and lumbar spine and thoracic spine radiography. How you position, postulate position a patient to ensure the spine is going to be lined up. Never get the spine parallel to the surface of the table because that guarantees you make a big mistake and never works out because the only way it can work is if you fail in what you were trying to do. <laughs> so be inspired. Give up centering point radiography and become the best radiographer you possibly can be. Thank you very much.